Good morning and welcome to our morning meditation on this Tuesday, February 21st of 2023. Let us join together in prayer. Lord Father, we thank you for the day that we are embarking on. Uh, we know that it, as the day moves on, it will become stormy, it will become frigid, and it may become dark. While I may be talking about the weather change, it could also be other circumstances that come into our lives. But through it all, we know that you will be there with us, guiding us, strengthening us, and if necessary, carrying us through it all. Be with us now as we gather together to meditate on your word. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, today, I am going to read a passage from Ephesians chapter 2, and it's verse 10, and it says, We are God's masterpiece. He created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. And the devotion reads, You have shaped me into the unique person I am today. You have created me to do good works. I am awed that you prepared things in advance for me to do. From the very beginning, you made me for a specific job in your kingdom. Give me the courage to take hold of that task. Help me resist shying away from the challenges that face me. I chose that for today for a couple of very specific reasons. First of all, as I was driving the boys out to school today, I was listening, as I do each day, to K-Love, the Christian contemporary radio station. And as I'm hearing these various songs come on, it just kind of clicks in my head and dawns on me that although all of this music is kind of lumped together as contemporary Christian music, each song is so different. You have songs that are really rooted and based in the gospel sound. You have songs that are meant to be pure songs of praise and worship and glorifying God. You have songs that sound like they belong more on a country station than they do on a Christian radio station. You get my point. Each song, as different as it is, all convey the exact same message, and that is the message of God in our lives today. Tomorrow starts the season of Lent. If you got our February newsletter, or if you're able to go back to it or, or find it, Diane's message for us this season of Lent was to take something on. Instead of giving up, let's take on. Let's take on a new mission, a new ministry that we want to learn more about, support and encourage and grow. Take on the needs of our community, be it through support of the Marshall County Food Pantry or a charity of your choice, whether it be the support and the encouragement of a local family that you may know of. Let's take on a new habit, whether that be reading our Bible, participating in devotions, or as I am going to do, enhancing my prayer life, and my communications with God. It doesn't matter what we do. We are all individual. We are all unique. We all have our own strengths, our own abilities, our own passions that we bring into this world. How we do it, what we do is not necessarily the most important thing. 
the most important thing is that we do it bringing forth the message of God, bringing forth his love for us, bringing forth his compassion, his grace, and his mercy, bringing forth the mission of his son, Jesus Christ, to walk this earth, to minister to us, and to ultimately die taking on our sins, resurrecting himself, being risen from the dead to overcome and to be victorious over that death. That is what we are to do. That is what we are to take on, not only during Lent, but each day of our individual ministries. Again, it doesn't matter how you do it. If you do it through song, if you do it through gifts of time, if you do it through gifts of financial support, if you do it through an increased relationship with God. We are all unique individuals and God does have a plan and a purpose for each and every one of us. It is up to us to figure out what to do and how to do it and how to lead forward, spreading his message and bringing others into his family. I encourage you to read Diane's uh, article if you have not already, uh, as well as taking into consideration what it is that you want to try to take on this coming Lenten season. Let us pray. Father, tomorrow is the start of our preparations for your death and your resurrection, what we call the Lenten season. Lent comes from the root of a word that means spring, which means renewal and refreshing life. Our weather here in the Dakotas is not going to feel very spring-like tomorrow. But that is not the kind of spring that you're talking about. You are talking about rising up within us, bringing us new life, bringing us new perspectives, and revitalizing our love for you. Lord, as we go throughout our day, be with us as we proclaim your love through our words and our actions, as your spirit fills our heart in all that we do. Be with those who are struggling today in mind, body, soul, or spirit. May your healing hand guide and wash over them. Lord, we lift all of this to you this morning as we come together with one voice to pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. I do believe we are having our morning coffee this morning, our Bible coffee. I have not heard anything different on that. However, you may want to just connect with, uh, Diane, uh, to see whether or not that is actually the case. Um, like I said, I've not heard anything different in that regard. It is looking more and more likely that we will not be able to have our in-person Lenten service tomorrow night, our Ash Wednesday service. However, I am working on some things to be able to uh, conduct a uh, at least a meditation and a worship, uh, which would include the imposition of ashes virtually. Uh, I'm working on some things that I am running past uh, the the bishop and uh, Pastor Renee down at the Synod to see whether or not uh, that is something that I am able to do, if nothing else, to do at least a meditation tomorrow. That would be at 7 o'clock on our Facebook page, our normal time of what the service would have been. 
So uh, it's it's looking much, much more likely. I mean, there's a 100% chance of snow and we're supposed to be in a blizzard warning. So I am pretty confident that we do not want people to be risking uh, their their health and their lives their lives to be able to uh, have an in-person worship service. However, stay tuned. You never know. Something might drastically shift and uh, it misses us. Let's hope. So uh, anyway, that is, uh, I believe, what we have for the announcements right now. A happy birthday today to Scott Smith. Uh, I saw you Sunday. Wish you a happy birthday then, but I want to do it again today. I hope your day is filled with all kinds of love and laughter as you're surrounded by family and friends celebrating you and all that you are. Uh, I believe that's going to be it for me this morning. I will be back with you again tonight at 830, most likely with a much more definitive answer uh, about tomorrow and what uh, we may be able to do virtually through our Facebook page to celebrate Ash Wednesday and uh, begin our season of Lent. Until then, have a wonderful and blessed day. Go out, proclaim the love of God in all that you say and do. And I will see you again tonight at 830. Until then, God bless.